Good morning, everybody. I'm Marissa Bailey. Here are the stories making headlines at this hour. A man found dead on a bike path marks the second homicide in just a matter of days in Chicago's Rogers Park neighborhood. Police got a call just before 1030 last night about a man shot and killed on the bike path off Lunt Avenue. Officers can be seen investigating in the rain and searching Loyola Park for any evidence. They believe 24 year old Ilyahu Muskowitz was walking when someone shot him. Investigators say he was not carrying a wallet, but it is still too early to tell whether there was a robbery. Also, the incident happened less than a mile from where a 73 year old man was found shot and killed over the weekend. Well, Chicago police are still searching for the driver who caused a four car crash in Englewood that killed two men and a three year old little boy. Police tried to pull over the speeding car, but gave up the pursuit. The suspect later slammed into a car at 69th and Loomis and hit two more waiting at the light. That driver then ran from the scene. The defense in the Jason Van Dyke trial resumes this morning after court was suspended yesterday because a juror was sick. Van Dyke is the CPD officer, of course, accused in the shooting death of 17 year old Laquan McDonald. His attorneys are calling their final witnesses, but it is still unclear whether Van Dyke himself will take the stand. Meteorologist Meg Maglero is here now with a look at your forecast on this Tuesday. Hi, Meg. Yeah, hey there, Marissa. We have a temperature up around 70 degrees today. I think a little bit cooler to the north, maybe upper 60s, but mostly cloudy for everyone. Some sunshine peaks through back half of the day. If we see any rain today, it would be early in the day and just a spotty shower tomorrow. Breezy and hot 85 the high. What a change. We're down to 68 degrees though again for Thursday. So we're on quite the roller coaster ride of temperatures as we do in fall. All right, Megan, thank you and keep it right here on CBS Chicago for updates throughout the day. Have a good one.